Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a copycat chilies queso dip recipe. This one's super simple. All you do is throw all these ingredients in a pot. You wait until it warms up, everything gets mixed together. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Anyway, I'll show you the recipe. All you're going to need is some heavy whipping cream. It calls for milk or half and half. I prefer heavy whipping cream just to make it creamy, you know. Um, it also calls for cayenne, but my stupido uh, forgot it, so I'm going to replace it with crushed red pepper. You also need black pepper, paprika, chili powder, cumin. I know you guys always make fun of me for saying cumin. I know it's cumin, but I say cumin. Um, tomato, tomato. <laughs> um, a little bit of salt. That's what's in the little chef guy. You need a can of chili. You can make your own if you want. I'm using canned. Um, 16 ounces of Velveeta. You need this. Don't buy the fresh cheese. Just buy this, okay? Thank me later. This stuff is amazing. Don't replace it. You need some lime. Um, onion is optional. I'm just going to add poquito, just a little bit. And this is also optional. I just need to get rid of these green onions because they're going bad. So, And just a fun little tip. If you cut off the ends of green onions and you keep the the roots and you put them in water they grow back I learned that I might be wrong but I read that somewhere anyway I'm gonna show you how to make this let's get a poppin in the kitchen also because I never show you guys I'm not only having chips with this dip I'm gonna dip some stuff into it because you know I'm gonna be a youtuber and that's what youtubers do now so gotta get with the trends anyway I never show you what I use so I figured I would I'm gonna try some of this blackened chicken strips I've never tried them I'll let you know if they're good these, I used to eat them all the time. They are so good. If you ever see them, get them. I know they're lean cuisine, so they're like quote-unquote healthy, but they're probably not. They're really good. And then this is one of my favorite Hot Pockets. It's the garlic chicken white pizza. I'm going to have some of this. And I've had this before. Not the Italian kind. I've had the regular cheese sticks. And my spaghetti and meatball video, if you fast forward, or we rewind, not even fast forward, what? Um, anyway, I've had these before. You can get them at Walmart. So good. But I've never had the Italian kind, so I'm going to try it. This step is optional, but I'm going to caramelize my onions just a little bit. So I use maybe, um, a fourth a cup, if that. You can probably even use two tablespoons of onion. I added just a little bit of olive oil, whatever you want. And I'm going to caramelize them a little bit so they bring out the flavor in my chili but this they don't add onions for some reason onions add flavor to everything so you know what i'm just gonna do it okay once your onions saute a little bit i was gonna caramelize them but i'll just saute them a little bit um the first thing you're gonna want to do is add a 15 ounce can of chili so add this into the thing you need one cup of heavy whipping cream or half and half whichever one you want to add Next, you add 16 ounces of Velveeta. You need half a teaspoon of cayenne, but I don't have that, of course. So I'm going to add half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You need two teaspoons of paprika, so here's one. Here's two. You need one teaspoon of salt. Three teaspoons of chili powder, so here's one, here's two, here's three. Two teaspoons of cumin, so there's one, here's two. One tablespoon of lime juice. I'm just going to squeeze some lime in there. Um, if you have the bottled lime juice, just know you need one tablespoon. Okay, so I mix this all the way up after I pour the lime juice in, and you're going to just keep it on about medium, even a little bit lower. I'd keep it about right there, and just let it cook until everything melts together. You can even put this in a slow cooker if you want and make this for a party, if you please, but this is a party of one. Okay. There are no friends in this group. There's only one friend, and that's me. Anyway, I'm going to cook this stuff, and then when this is all done, I will see you for the mukbang portion. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. 
Today I'm having a copycat chilies uh, queso dip, which I've tried before and it's really good. And I'm having chips with that. These are the Hint of Jalapeno Tostito chips. Um, I also, I wasn't really craving chips like that, so I decided to get a platter of appetizers because, you know, go big or go home. Um, so I have these little egg rolls, which I showed at the beginning, uh, blackened chicken, uh, Hot Pockets, and Italian cheesy bread. So we're going to have some of this, and I'm also going to be talking about my job because this is like highly requested. You guys really want to know all about my job. And in the beginning, I was like kind of hesitant, and I didn't really understand why people wanted to hear about it. But I guess the adult industry is like super, it's super like secretive, and people want to know the ins and outs. So I'm here to share that with you. But I do want to eat a little bit before I start talking about that. And if you are under the age of 18, beware, like this is adult conversation. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch and listen to what I'm going to be talking about, then stick around. Um, ooh, let's start with the blackened chicken because it smells so freaking good. Yeah, look at that. Yummy. Everyone's dipping stuff into queso and I'm like, let me get on that because at first I didn't really understand, but it kind of looked good after a while. These are pretty good. These are good. I just put them in the microwave. Yum. I have these little, they're like spring roll type of things. I don't even know. They kind of remind me of taquitos, but they're so good. They're by Lean Cuisine. Yummy. I didn't feel like doing my hair and makeup. My makeup, I mean, not my makeup. My hair is from like three days ago and I didn't do my makeup. But you get the natural me today. I also have some lime that I'm gonna sprinkle on my chips because I love lime on my chips. If you guys don't know what I am, I am a cam girl. It, I work in the adult industry and I know people are always shocked when they hear about it. They're like, oh my god, you look so innocent. I'm like, I know. When I'm working on cam, people always ask me what my age is because they think I look um, a lot younger. They're like, are you even old enough to do this? I'm like, yep, I'm, 20, I'm 25. I'll be 26 this year. So I just have a baby face. If you don't know what a cam girl is, basically, um, you're on a webcam and there's like a chat room and you do fun shows. Sometimes you get naked, sometimes you don't. It just depends on who you are. You make your own rules up. If you don't feel comfortable with something, you don't have to do it. That's the cool thing about it. I started in May of 2016, so I've been doing it for a little while. This year will be four years, which is crazy. I've never had a job this long. You guys are probably wanting to know, okay, so do you get naked? I do. Um, I'm not... At first, I was kind of hesitant on doing it. 
But after a while you get pretty comfortable with it. I love my body so I'm not afraid to show it off. I'm going to go kind of back to the beginning. The reason I started camming was because I was feeling really alone and I remember watching cam girls and just watching them interact with their room and they have like this big group of people that they would make friends with and I was like I want to try that because I was working a couple jobs I wasn't happy and I just wanted to make friends I wasn't looking at it as an opportunity to make money I strictly started it because I just wanted to make friends I didn't know how to so I'm like let me start this I remember talking to my mom about it and I'm like I don't know if I should do this my mom's like go for it so my mom does know, everyone in my family knows already. And so I started it up and like the first day, like I was so scared. I think I only stayed on for maybe an hour and I logged off and I actually made a decent amount of money and I talked to a lot of people. Hmm. Sorry, this is really freaking messy. Um, and so I'm like, okay, let me try this the next day. And then I just started doing it every day and I met so many freaking amazing people. A lot of people have this conception that, or they have this thought in their head that most guys that go on there are super old and they're gross, but that's not true at all. I think the majority of people that I've actually talked to, because you can look at other people if they have their webcam on. And a lot of guys are young. They're in their 20s, um, maybe even 30s. I think I've only talked to a couple guys that are older. These are good. So yeah, not all guys that go on these websites are old. There's a lot of lonely younger people too. A lot of people are lonely in this world, trust me. And they don't always go on there to get their rocks off. Like, there's some people that just want to talk to you. And they see, like, a younger girl. And maybe they just want to get to know you. I've had people that I consider, like, really good friends that have been in my room for years. I know a handful of people that have been there since the beginning. Or at least the first year. And they've stuck with me through everything. And I'm telling you, I was a roller coaster of emotions the first three years. It was ups and downs and it wasn't even just due to cam, it was just due to my depression and me just going through a lot of things that I used to cry my eyes out on cam and there were people that stuck with it through me. I stuck with it through me, stuck uh, with me crying and they were still there after it all and I'm so grateful for them because without them, I wouldn't have known that there are people out there that literally like you just for you being you. Camming's not for everyone. It does take a mental toll on you and it's good to take breaks just like with anything on the internet. It's kind of like YouTube in the sense that you really need, need to take breaks. You can't be doing it all the time. You're going to burn yourself out and that's exactly what I did. I burned myself out. Last year I barely cammed at all because I was so, I wouldn't say over it, but I was just mentally checked out. You need to look after yourself, like take some days off for you. And I learned that because the first year of camming, I camped every single day. That's how I got the members that I did is because I worked so hard to build it up. It's not just about how you look. It's about your personality mostly because there are a lot of girls on here that they're really good looking. But they don't really have that personality that guys want, so they don't do as well. But the cool thing about Cam is you can be, you can look any way. You can be big, you can be small, you can be tall. Um, 
you can be anything and there's a guy out there that's attracted to that and it's not even just guys there's girls that go on there too i remember i used to have a couple that used to come into my cam room and they would hang out with me Mmm. These are good. Um, so the number one thing, like if I were to give advice to anyone that wants to start camming, I would say really know who you are because you can lose yourself in it. Yes, you're in your room and you can control your hours, which is awesome, but there's a lot of people that start drinking all the time, which is what I did. I learned the lesson the hard way. And I was drinking every night because I thought that's what people wanted me to do. And I went from like rarely drinking to drinking every night and just my depression went like I was doing okay. But then I would get really manic and then I would drop and I would get super depressed and I was just, I was a mess. So I try not to drink anymore. I haven't drank in over a month. I really monitor that because if I, like I would hope someone would want to tip me because they like me and not because they just want me to get me uh, messed up, you know what I mean? So yeah, I would watch the drinking. It's not good to drink anyway every day, but especially when you're working around a lot of people. And another thing is when you're new, a lot of guys will pressure you into doing things that you don't want to do. In the beginning, I was more open to doing things, but now that I've been doing this for three years, I have my set in stone things that I will I refuse to freaking do. And I don't give a damn what a guy says. I don't care how much you're willing to pay me. I don't care what you're willing to give me. I'm not doing what I don't want to do. In the beginning, I, w I would do things that I didn't really want to do, but because someone wanted me to do it, I wanted to like please them, so I would do it. Not anymore. I'm not Mrs. Nice Girl anymore. If someone says something rude and I don't like you, I'm going to ban you. I don't care. I'll block you. Um, I don't play those games anymore. Uh, that's another thing. Just don't let guys um, pressure you into doing things that you don't want to do. Y you have the power to say no. And remember that. And don't let money change you either. I feel like money changed me in the beginning. But then when I lost everything and I started doing really bad on cam because my attitude changed. And not even for the better. I learned that you could lose it all and that's what happened to me. I went from making six figures, like no joke, to making half that because my attitude, I needed a reality check and I got it. So now I'm really grateful for everything that I have and I don't make as much money as I used to but I'm so grateful for any amount of money I do make because I realized that tomorrow everyone could leave and I could lose this job so yeah. Sorry if this is all over the place. I'm just trying to get my thoughts out. Um, let's see. I know you guys are nosy like me. I love seeing how much girls make. Um, like, I love watching stripper videos where they do their money counts because that I've literally been watching stripper videos every single day and it puts me in that mindset of like, um, getting to work every day, making money, being happy, being positive if I have a bad day. It's okay because you have a chance again tomorrow to make it a, a good day. So, I love watching those videos. And I'll tell you guys mine. I'm open about everything pretty much. Obviously, my worst day, I probably made nothing. Like, everyone has those days where you make next to nothing. Cam girls get tipped in tokens. A token is virtual money, basically. 
So a member will buy tokens and it's, um, you have to, um, what is it called? So like, let's say 5,000 tokens is $250. You have to like do the math for it. So if I, uh, get 5,000 tokens, I get $250. 10,000 tokens is $500, so on and so forth. My highest tip that I've ever got was 66,666 tokens and that was on my birthday. Oh, I'm so grateful for that. I think that's about 3,000 something. Um, Let's see, the most money I've made in one night, I am I think it was $5,000. Um, this was when I was doing really freaking well. This was when I was working my butt off. I don't make that anymore. <laughs> and I think the most I've made in a month was $10,000. Oh, I missed that. That was one month too. I, that's the only month I made that much. So yeah, obviously that's not realistic. I don't make that much anymore. Um, I'm still grateful, but yeah, uh, you just got to manage your money too. I did not manage my money. I was so bad when I was making a lot of money, I blew it off. So I don't have that anymore and obviously I'm in debt which I'm so happy I've paid off about since I moved back in October I've been here October November December three months and I've managed to pay off ten thousand dollars worth of debt which is oh I'm so happy about that too I'm so thankful for my mom letting me move back in with her so I'm able to do this because my rent used to be a thousand four hundred there's no way I would have been able to do this if I still lived on my own So yeah, if you're ever looking into doing this, just remember, um, it's on the internet forever, so if you ever want to get into a job, like with working with kids, you can't do that. Um, just keep that stuff in mind, like, um, a lot of employers are going to probably find out about it, um, so if you don't want anyone to find out, don't do this job. Because there are people that will disown you. I'm very lucky that my family is so supportive with everything that I've ever done. And another really nice thing about camming for me is that I don't have to be around, like be surrounded by men. Because I know like with strippers, like you have guys that are groping you and stuff like that. I don't have to worry about that, which is so nice because I will honestly slap a hoe. Like, no. I don't like men touching me. I, I just don't do it. And another thing that people have a misconception of, they think that people that work in the adult industry just sleep around with everyone. Now, I can't speak for everyone, but I don't... Oh, okay, I thought my camera was messing up. I can't speak for everyone, but for me, I definitely don't. I haven't had sex in like seven years, so since high school, 
So I'm not that way. Yes, there are some girls that are like that, but just mind your own business. You know what I mean? Like why are other people so worried about what other girls do with their body? Like this is my body. I do what I want with my own body. If I want to sleep around, I can. If you want to, you can. Don't worry about what other people think, okay? Live your life the way you want to. Don't live your life for your parents. Don't live your life for your friends. Don't live your life for people on the internet. Um, uh, like if you're worried about what other people think, don't. Because at the end of the day, this is your life. You wake up every day, you pay your own bills, you go to work, you make ends meet on your own, so don't worry about what other people think. Because then you're just not going to live your life and you're going to be miserable. Sorry if I'm talking a lot. I hope I answered a lot of your questions. I can tell you a whole ass story about the bad times that I've had on cam because I can write a whole book about it. Not even just slow nights, but just like my my mindset at the time. I was so negative and I was so mean and I was I've learned a lot since starting this job and this job made me appreciate who I am. It built me up and I have met so many amazing people that have helped me um, build my confidence and I'm so grateful for it. Like this shot made me appreciate my body too because I have a small chest of course. Um, I'm a small person in general and there are so many guys out there that love small boobs. So if you're thinking about getting a boob job just to please other people, don't. If you like having small boobs, rock it. You know, there's a guy out there that likes that. I've had this cup for years and it has survived the dishwasher and everything. I got this at UGB. <laughs> Anyway, if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, just ask them in the comment section down below. Um, I think I pretty much answered everything, but if I missed a question that you guys really want to know, just ask me below and I will answer it. I'm happy with my decision. It was when I first started camming. It was either between starting a YouTube channel and camming, and I chose camming, but then two years later, I decided to start a YouTube channel, and I was worried about people judging me for being a cam girl, but you guys actually have been so sweet about it, so thank you. I just don't want it to define me, because I'm so much more than just a cam girl. This stuff is so good. I promise I won't leave you guys this long again. I know it's been over a month. Um, but I've been working every single day. So I'm trying to pay off my debt the fastest that I can. And then save up some money. So then when I move back out I won't be so stressed about bills and stuff. I probably won't move until 2021. So about a year. Um, I'm not going to share where I work like or what website. I, If you guys would please not write it in the comment section down below. If you know that's cool. Because I know some of you do know where I work. But I just don't want to share that because I want to keep my YouTube and my camming separate. Even though I talked about it just now. Um, I just don't feel comfortable sharing it. So. If you 
guys do find it because I know it's inevitable and some of you will, don't be shy to say hi. <laughs> It is 18 and over though, so be advised, there are boobs on the website. There is um, lots of things that you might not unsee on that website. <laughs> I've become so accustomed to seeing boobs that I'm just like, okay, boobs. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. It started snowing last night and it never snows in Texas, which is, it was really weird. It didn't stick. It ended up melting during the day, but I was like, oh, look, little snow flurries. Is that a hair? That's my hair. And I also want to add that it's all based on luck, too. Um, I got really lucky when I did start. Not everyone gets lucky. But if you do want to try, just put in the hard work. Just like with anything in life, you got to put in the hours. You have to put in the work. You have to get on during the day. Get on at night. See which crowd you like better. Um, see who you vibe with. Talk to everyone. Don't put off talking to someone because you never know. There was a guy, my first highest tipper ever. He hung out in my room every single day and I remember seeing his name and I would always call him out and say hi. He never said anything back. I never blocked him or anything. I just waited. I think maybe a month later on my birthday, he was my highest tipper and he tipped seven 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 so seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven and i remember like messaging him like private messaging him and saying oh my gosh thank you so much why'd you do this and he's like i've been watching you for a while and you always said hi and you were so nice to me and i liked you but i was waiting to tip you until i got paid so you never know it's kind of like with the strip club you never know what person in there is gonna make it rain on you you can't like look at someone and be like no they're not gonna tip me or no they're not gonna make it rain on me you just never know it's always the rich people that don't flaunt being rich they wear maybe adidas and they wear some slides and they look um like they just rolled out of bed but you never know they could be a millionaire so by the way i still get comments of people commenting saying that i have a sugar daddy I don't have a sugar daddy. Trust me, I'd be living that lavish lifestyle if I did have one. Um, I'm not rich. I'm living a little bit comfortably. I'm putting all the money I make into my savings so I can pay off my debt. But yeah, I don't have a sugar daddy. If I did, I would definitely share. I don't believe in that. I don't sleep with older men. I've never slept with any of my members. I That's disgusting. I think I have morals. I... I like to put myself a little bit up here, you know what I mean? I, I will never lower myself to doing that at all because that's just not who I am. So, no, I've never slept with anyone um, that has given me any money. That's not me, okay? And that will never be me, <laughs> period. Period. I hate it when people say that, period, but no. Anyway, I'm full and it's like, what? 3 a.m. I don't have a I don't have a watch, but I know it's 3 a.m. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video, hopefully sooner than later. Bye bye.